Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. We're back again with the Lunar Lander uh, direct landing script that Dimitri put together. Uh, we've been trying out the law of cosines method that I showed in uh, the, uh, the math explanation video that I put together. And so far it's going really well, but we want to make sure that uh, we're not just having dumb luck. So we're going to try this several times in a row. And I, I'm going to say once we have 10 successes in a row with no failures, then we'll consider, we'll consider it, you know, uh, mission accomplished. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here, jump into it. So our flight record so far, what is it? 14 attempts. Yeah. 14 attempts, six, six successes. The last three were successful using the law of cosines. And let's go ahead, skip the intro, kill rotate right away, turn off that bar at the top, open the retro doors, left shift escape, right shift escape, and bring up interplanetary MFD, go to the base approach program, and go to the old method, and we want to target Brighton Beach. And we want the altitude as negative 2566. And that anticipation angle, I feel like it worked better the other time, but in both cases we used negative 0.275, so we'll stick with that. And so I think we had the maximum amount of time for this flight. So let's start with 3100. So that's 123, let's go down to 3000. So that goes up. Is there any chance it goes down? Of course not. Let's try 3,000 seconds again, even though that was cutting it really close last time. But uh, we managed. You know what? Let's actually try. Let's spend a little bit more and see if we can have a success on time. Or let's see if we can set a time on uh, a record time. Let's actually go 2750. Now that's really eating into our DV budget though. Let's see, 2800. All right, let's go 2800. And burn. All right, so attempt 15, because this time we're going for record time, because there's no, there's no points for uh, leftover DV. So what do we do? 2800 and negative 0.275. Yeah, the score is based on how much time you have left over, so let's let's burn the DV that we have available to us. And hopefully I didn't go so far in the other direction that we run out of DV. All right, let's set up, uh, well, let's do our comm nav. Yeah, let's go ahead and do our comm nav. It is uh, 13215, and then we'll switch it to 20 later, and get Brighton Beach, and let's do our burn, or let's set up, Let's set up our calculation uh, so we can solve our triangle, basically. All right, so our DV is going to be 3531. And that's going to have us at 238,877 meters. Let's plug that in. 238,877. And our re-entry angle this time is... 27.732 27.732 Alright, so according to the calculation it'd be 120,657 meters so more or less 121 kilometers so we're going to go 125 we're going to take that 4% and round down to the, to the next kilometer down 125 do we want to go 124? Do we want to be that brazen? Hmm. Hmm. No. It's tempting though, isn't it? No, let's not. Because if we're trying to have 10 successes in a row, let's not be, let's not be dangerous. 125 kilometers. All right. So now that that is set, Let's go ahead and go retrograde. Uh, we don't need this up anymore, so let's go to the generic camera. Back, back, back. And we'll put our hover altitude over to vertical speed, and we'll set it for uh, like six or seven, something like that. 
Yeah, something like that. Okay, a little bit of time warp to speed that up. That should be settled. Back to real time. Turn that off. Kill rotate. Kill rotate one more time. And as before, we'll go ahead and go down to 400 kilometers and just compare compare methods. Okay. So I think everything is set. We set up our comm nav. And those are open. Okay, so I think we're all good to go. All right, warping time forward. Remember, 400 kilometers. We're going to com we're going to uh, start comparing numbers. All right, let's come out of time warp. Go retrograde. Looks to me like there's quite a bit of separation this time, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, I think this is uh, one of the biggest separations we've seen. I think. Take it down and. Okay, down to 0 0.1, dv, vertical speed 2233, okay, that's updated, control P for pause, and 96,294 meters, 96,294 meters, 96,294, and now we want to unpause and put in the dv for the ground speed, 3377. So 218 and pause, 218,693. I think that's going to be the biggest range we've seen, which is good for the sake of comparison here. Right, let's copy everything down. And almost, it's almost the biggest range we've seen. So, so far, flight 11 was the biggest. So according to the, you know, again, I was leaning towards 50%. We would have begun the burn at 157 kilometers, so that might mean, you know, we would have begun so soon that we would have run out of fuel. You know, of course, we can always eyeball it a little bit and say, well, I'm going to begin the burn at 157 kilometers, but then when I get down to like 30 kilometers, based on how my vertical speed is, I'm going to kill the main engine drop a bit. But according to our law of cosines calculation, we're going to do the burn at 125 kilometers. All right, so that's the deal. Let's go ahead and switch cameras. Unpause. Go back to real time. And retrograde autopilot is on. Uh, so we don't need this up anymore. Let's go to GPS VTOL. And let's warp time forward until we get down to 125 kilometers, and that's when we're going to begin this burn. <clears throat> okay, back to real time. 125 kilometers, don't want to be even a moment late. And burning. I think I might have started that at like 125 kilometers plus a few meters, but that's fine. All right, warping time forward, getting through the big burn. I don't like when my angle is this shallow. A little bit longer on the time warp. Yeah, we're going to be missing the base a bit here, but... Okay, vertical speed. Put down the landing gear. And we'll switch over to comm nav. Go on frequency. Oops, that was a big mistake. Select B -O -O -R -V -T -O -L. Keep an eye on our vertical speed. Switch cameras to the down cam. And we're going to have to hold here pretty soon. Let's actually go ahead and hold now. You are clear to land. And turn that off and drop. And we're in rotation. And we're heading towards the pad at 14 meters a second. We're going to need to speed that up. We have lots of time left. We don't have a ton of fuel, but we do need to speed up. We have to get over there faster. I'm a bit worried about fuel on this one, to be honest. I'm quite worried about fuel on this one. Translation. Really wish we had a cross feed. I 
I'm extremely worried about fuel on this one. So I'm holding down, trying to offset the hover a little bit using some of that RCS. I am super crazy, super, super duper worried about fuel. Super worried about fuel. Oh man, we cannot afford to overshoot. Oh, we're not going to make it because of fuel. <sighs> well, I don't feel like that was a fault of the formula. I feel like that was a fault of the fact that I tried to set a time record. Oh yeah, I can't do that. Well... Okay, let me turn that off, catch the brakes. Oh. Okay, so again, not, a, not a, a fault of the formula, it's just I got too aggressive on the time on that one. Yeah, by putting in that 2800 and speeding thing, trying to speed things up as much as I did, I... Um, I blew my fuel budget. Yeah, all right. So, I hate to even say that was a failure, because we know it wasn't, but it was a DV fail technically, so we'll go with that. We'll be honest with ourselves. But, you know, again, I, I just, it clearly was not a fault of the formula. It was just that you know, we got too aggressive on the re-entry time, and that's just something to take away from this particular experience, is that, you know, we, we, have, to, we have to find that balance. We, we, have to be, uh, we have to be careful with that balance. So, I was really hoping to have 10 successes in a row. <laughs> well, we'll go ahead and try again, but we'll be, we'll be more careful with our time. We won't try to be so aggressive. All right, with all that said, uh, like the video because it was a learning experience. And I'll see you next time.